This year alone in the U.S., an estimated nearly 10,000 new cases of cancer will be diagnosed in children up to 14 years old. And unfortunately, many of those young cancer patients often will not be eligible for the same treatments as adults. Our Capitol correspondent Ryan Chandler is here. And Ryan, you got to speak with Congressman Michael McCall, who's been using his time on the Hill to try and make some change about this. Well, that's right. You know, this is a very contentious week in Washington about mm -hmm. some very divisive issues, but this at least is an issue that nearly everybody can get behind. Leading the fight against childhood cancer through new treatments and new funding. Congressman Mike McCall is hosting the Childhood Cancer Caucus's 14th annual Golden Toast tonight, honoring children fighting cancer as a reminder of their commitment to this greater investment. McCall and his caucus introduced new legislation to give kids more access to additional treatments and clinical trials, which right now are reserved just for adults. I spoke to him about his work on this today and the work that he says the country still has left to do. You know, the kids are really left out of the equation. Uh, it was all about adult uh, cancer research, everything, all the treatments and therapies were focused on adults and not on the children. And I, I thought that was just quite frankly wrong. And of course, this comes as Republicans in Washington are entrenched in a stalemate over federal funding. Yesterday, just five Republicans in the House joined with Democrats to derail a spending bill supported by Speaker Kevin McCarthy. If they can't get anything passed by the end of the month, then the government will shut down. And Congress, Congressman McCall also chairs the House Foreign Affairs Committee. And he says his experience there tells him that our domestic disagreements Put us, at, put us at a risk worldwide. I think our adversaries like Chairman Xi in China uh, were looking at this and saying, you know what, I'm right. When he says, you know, democracy doesn't work, he often says that. You know, democracy doesn't work, it's, it's dysfunctional, and, and that's why a dictatorship is a better form of government. He's, of course, wrong in that assessment, but when we do things like what we did yesterday, I think it, it, uh, it eggs him on. Yeah, we also spoke with Austin's Democratic Congressman Lloyd Doggett today, and he said it's not a matter of whether a shutdown is coming, but how long it will be.